Okay, so I will just demonstrate the uh, the workflow that I use for creating the video tutorials. Uh, I've already casted everything. I've gone through with Audacity and cleaned everything up. More or less, uh, that's just going through amplifying everything because my my microphone really is it's good. It gives very clean sound, but it's very quiet. Um, so really, I just amplify it about 21 times, um, or I guess 21 decibels, and then I just use a leveler and go over that. So anyway, I've got a couple of files here. I've got the introduction and the, um, the video files over there. Um, I've got all my audio in here, so these .aups are the Audacity files that I use for editing, and then these guys are the sounds that I use. Um, resources have nothing really in them. Um, but yeah, where did I put the output? There. So this will be the final output from this tutorial. Um, but yeah, okay. So what I'm actually going to do first is pop into GIMP because I'm going to turn this into um, into the front page. Well, maybe not this one. This one's the final from the tutorial. I uh, rendered it a bit smaller because it takes forever. So let me go grab the other one that I did. Uh, so that would be over here. Yeah, that's this one. So I'm going to take that, stick it over, where am I, there, okay, and now let's open that up in GIMP, and that's this one right here, and so I'm just going to create some layers, so I'm going to call this one uh, the, I don't know, black boxes and then we're going to create text so big white text let's turn that up to 30 uh, blender whiz video tutorial and let's make that bigger How does that look? Yeah. That looks fine. And then down here, I'm going to create another one. Maybe about, I don't know, 30. Yeah, let's go up to 45. 45 and white text. And I don't know what to call these. What do you call these? Um, hair crystal effect <laughs> um, hmm. it's always hard coming up with a title actually that's probably the hardest part or one of them anyway I don't know what to call it um, crystal landscape yeah, that, that works for me. And let's... 45. How does that look? That looks fine. I need to spell that correctly. Cr ah. Crystal landscape. I hate how it always... or how GIMP adjust this while I'm working on it. But uh, yeah, there we go. And so now I'm going to take this black box and just go ahead and uh, fill that in with black. Like so. And we just take this up take value and just turn that down. And yeah, that that 
I think, a little bit darker. There we go. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to just go ahead and save that. And I'm going to call that uh, thumbnail. Probably the biggest thumbnail you've ever seen. <laughs> 1080p. But yeah, it'll be the thumbnail for the image, for the, for the video. And then once I finish with this, I start importing everything over into OpenShot, which is not that, this guy. So I'm just gonna take the thumbnail that we just created, stick it in here, um, and then I'm gonna grab the other resources. So let's see, here's the final node layout and the final image from the render. Um, let's go ahead and grab the videos. So here's the introduction part, that one, that one, and that one. And then let's go ahead and grab the audio in that same order. So let's see, 32 is at the end. And then we've got 3226, so that's this one. Then we've got 5126. So that's that one. Then I'm going to import the uh, introduction. Um, I did a quick little extra blurb there. And then the conclusion. And finally the jingle. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Um, so let's go ahead and stick it over in the, in the right place. Yeah. And let's see, let's call it, what did I call it? Um, crystal landscape? Yeah. Crystal landscape. Okay, so we'll just save that there. And now we get to start uh, building it. Now, OpenShot tends to have some issues and it's actually in the um, the melt library that they use for handling all of the the um, ah whatever you want to call it the uh, the video backend so all the video processing happens through the melt library and that library has the tendency of crashing um, let's go ahead and rename these so let's add a track below and rename that. And I'm going to call this one audio. I'm going to rename this one focal. And this one video. OK. And then I'm just going to hide the visible part and disable the audio up there. So you can turn on the audio and turn off the audio on the individual tracks, but yeah, I find it easier to just turn off the entire track. So let's stick that in there. Um, yeah, I guess I could have this video take up that port. Um, yeah, nah. People have asked for the uh, final result toward the beginning, so I will give them that. Okay. So this is working nicely. Okay. Wow, it hasn't crashed yet. I'm I'm actually quite amazed. I don't remember seeing this in an update. Okay, so I'm going to remove that there and slide this forward. Maybe they updated the melt library. Okay, so let's go ahead and I would be so happy if they did. This used to take probably about f 2, 3, 4 hours maybe cuz really after every operation it would crash and it really sucked. 
Ah, I was too hopeful. Let's bring that back up. Where'd it go? Where did I save it? There. Ah, dang. I hoped it wouldn't do this, but it will. Nope. Yeah, okay, so that's good. That, that part's good there. Basically, I'm just making sure that the transition between the clips is smooth, because sometimes I will leave a gap at the beginning, and sometimes I won't. And so I just have to figure out where the sa sorry, where the sound actually starts. Hmm. And it's a it's a segmentation fault. Sometimes you don't get anything done, and it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, it's a segmentation fault. Ah, there we go. Ha. Okay, so that one actually took, that was, that was fine, I can, we can deal with that. Um, I'm going to stick this guy in there, this guy here. Um, this one needs to be extended just a smidge, like so. Um, and then the conclusion goes right there. And... The final image goes right there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I want the Maybe I want the uh final image at the beginning as well cuz I don't really need the thumbnail in there. So I'm going to remove that and just stick in the final image. Yeah, there we go. Um I would like to see how this looks, but alas I can't without losing everything. So let's just go through and apply all of these uh, fade in and fade out effects. Um, really pretty nice. And then later I'll have the audio fade in and fade out, though I don't usually like to do that on my voice because it makes it a bit harder to hear, but or harder to understand too. But on the, the jingle, I usually will do that. And there we go. Hmm. Maybe I want the thumbnail right there. Nah. Nah. We don't need that. And then we just take our jingle, stick it in. Which one is this? Hello? Ah, it's that one. Okay. And I'm just going to cut it right there. Remove it. And let's go ahead and have the f audio fade in and out. Hello? And there we go. It's a little loud for me. So I'm going to turn it down maybe 52%. Hello, and welcome to another Blender with video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create the image in front of you using... Yeah, that works pretty well. Okay, so let's... Nice fading and out. Um, you don't really need... Dang it. You don't really need to hear my voice in that last part that much. I mean, you just need to copy the the... Thing. So I'm going to just put that in there, um, save, 
always save. I've learned that. I save after pretty much every operation. So, let's see. There we go. I'm actually going to have it protrude slightly into the video clip, just so that it kind of fades in nicely. And then we're going to set that audio down to about 52%, like so. Fade in and out, apply that, save. Ha! Don't crash. Come on. Here's my final layout. Yeah, that works nicely. So, there you go. Um, there weren't actually that many crashes. I'm, I'm impressed. It usually takes a lot longer, but uh, yeah. That is the video editing process, and after that I click render. Uh, let's see, I usually go with all formats. Um, recently I've switched to the H.264 MP4 output, um, and everything looks good, so export.